In this segment, we will briefly cover using the crosscut function. The crosscut function is really ideal because it provides clean, straight edges to the media. First, let's see how the crosscut function operates. You'll notice that there is a channel just in front of the Teflon strip. The crosscutter uses this channel to slice the media. You can use this channel as a guide when positioning the media to the exact spot where you want the media to be crosscut or sliced. This in turn prevents the crosscutter from cutting across our new cut design or prints. Therefore, using the channel as a guide, position the tool head exactly where you want to crosscut the media. The crosscut tool blade is found in the middle of the tool head. Then to activate the crosscutter function, press the escape crosscut button once and there is a choice to either cut or cancel. Pressing the one key will engage it. It starts by engaging the tool by bringing it to the far end. This action will set the tool head so that the blade holder won't touch the media during the crosscut operation. It then slices the media by starting in the middle and then cutting in both directions. When using Cutting Master 4 or GraphTech Studio Plus, the crosscutter can be enabled by the checkbox. When enabled, it will automatically crosscut at the end of each job. It also allows us to set the amount of distance the media will feed before crosscutting the media. And once again, this is all done automatically.